Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow me on socials at Lee underscore Chappie. Right, if you didn't know and you are living under a rock, you would see that the Brendan Rodgers rumours to Arsenal are in fact all over social media, including the papers, the TV. In fact, I think it's around the world by now with all media corporations and big, big, big boys really promoting that Brendan Rodgers is in fact going to leave Leicester for the Arsenal job. From Sky Sports to The Mirror to footballing social blog sites, everyone is talking Brendan Rodgers to Arsenal. As you know, Arsenal sacked Unai Emery. Good evening. You know, you know the guy. The good evening guy. He's been sacked. So they need a new manager. And Leicester are doing so well in the Premier League. We are second boys second in the Premier League we are above champions Manchester City and chasing European champions Liverpool I felt that since we've even won the Premier League back in 2015-2016 that even then the media just didn't really want us to win it they didn't and right now up into this day they they still say that the other big boys underperformed that season and that's why we won never giving credit to the Foxes. Never. In fact, fans on social media for other teams also say the same thing, that the big boys didn't play their part that season and that we fluked it. Ladies and gentlemen, we fluked the Premier League title by 10 points. Yeah, 10 points. And to make matters worse, our players are linked to other clubs as well, as you know from Ben Chilwell to now Soyuncu. It just gets ridiculous and it's got now to a point where clearly the biased top six of the mass media that generate millions of pounds of revenue for making articles about these big six sides will continue to print and type their utter nonsense for as long as this goes on. Now, if you've not been following social today, I've got some news for you. In an interview with Jeff Peters, Leicester's talk sport representative, Brennan Rogers had this to say on the matter. This is all hypothetical. You know, there's it's it's you guys in media and, and you need to write things and say things and uh, all speculation. My I, I my focus is very much here with Leicester. You know, the uh, club's absolutely been first class with me since I've come in and, and we feel that we're in a project that uh, that is uh, very exciting and, and got a lot of development ahead. So um, so my concentration at this point, as I stand here, is very much with Leicester. So you're Leicester's man, you're here to stay, Brennan, that's what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, very much so. I, I left a club uh, eight and a half months ago and uh, that was a change I made to come to a club that had the ambition and the big challenge to to get in and, and this is a huge challenge here to try and break into that top six and I've loved every minute of that since I've come here and uh, like I say we have, we've got more work to do and uh, but I'm excited by that. Now in another interview he also stated that I will say is that I have a contract here until 2022. The club haven't indicated to me that they're going to sack me. I'm very happy. I don't need to look elsewhere. Why would I want to leave Leicester City at this moment in time? I'm working with a group of talented players. I spoke about the contract, but I was directly responding to a question. There will always be speculation around jobs. I repeat, I'm happy here. I want you to continue with that. Take from that what you want. And take that from what they want, they sure did. Chris Sutton jumped on it, who's still still salty about Mr. Brendan Rodgers leaving Celtic. Uh, he, he tweeted out, Brendan has a clause, he said. I'd be worried if I was a Leicester fan. Yeah, get over yourself, Chris. You really are a waste of space, mate. Honestly, the, the guy is so salty right now. Just let it go. Just let it it go talking about Celtic reserves being bigger than Leicester City honestly get your head out of the sand seriously the mirror also jumped on this uh, they tweeted out a, an article on their website they put Brendan Rodgers confirms Leicester's release clause amid links to his Arsenal job it's getting a bit out of hand really isn't it it's getting a bit silly let's be quite honest with you he's only been at Leicester nine months um, does he really want to be, you know, 
known as the man that just jumps from one job to another in a short amount of period of time? No, I don't think so. The Football Daily, another big Twitter one. They put, did Brendan Rodgers just admit he has a release clause in his contract? Eyes emoji. Come on, guys. Really? You're really pushing this. It's just getting stupid now. And then John Cross, uh, he also commented and said that never understood the resistance to pay for a manager. £40 million wouldn't but you uh, buy you a squad player, but could get the most important individual at a club. Brendan Rodgers would be brilliant for Arsenal. The best choice by a million miles. They're all obsessed with this. He's not going. Another one out by the Mail Online. Brendan Rodgers refuses to deny he is interested in the Arsenal hot seat with Gunners ready to poach the Leicester manager. They're all obsessed with making these articles. You click on this article, there are adverts galore all over it. That is why these are made. It's for advertisements on their articles and the fact that they can't stand a different club like Leicester breaking into this biased top six bollocks. It's getting out of hand. Yes, I did just swear. I apologise. I take that back. But really, it's starting to get... It's just getting thin now, boys. Just leave it be. So, BBC Radio Leicester's Ian Stringer, uh, he asked Brendan Rodgers in a, an interview, and he said that if Arsenal come calling, is the message from you that you're not interested? Rodgers says... Yes, the message is clear, and it has been, and I'll probably be asked again until they appoint someone. I'm very happy here. I came here with a purpose. And to end the video on a quite a funny one, um, this this one's a shout out to Deluded Brendan who sent me this. Um, <laughs> if you've ever seen the old series of Kojak, <laughs> you're never going to not see Brendan Rodgers now in that hat. <laughs> Enjoy guys, <laughs> enjoy. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow me on uh, Lee underscore Chappie on Twitter and Instagram. That's a cracking photo. <laughs> Brilliant.